Not only did he enlist, he chose to enlist as in 0311, or a rifleman slash infantryman, a job with all but guaranteed combat implications given that dreadful September morning. Please donate to help Alfredo Luna here. When Luna left the Marines, he became a cop where he continued to serve his community valiantly in Southern California for 14 years. He earned the Medal of Valor during this time. The Medal of Valor is the nation's highest award given to public service officers. On January 15, 2021 sometime around 5 a.m., dozens of FBI agents and local law enforcement officers in full tactical gear rode up to Luna's house on the side rails of two pick-up trucks and an up-armored vehicle reminiscent of Luna's time in Iraq. Or perhaps trigger his PTSD in hopes Luna would do something reckless. Or, most likely, to wake up the entire neighborhood at 5 a.m. to come and see their spectacle of humiliation and the fear they are trying to instill in a decorated Marine combat vet and law enforcement officer by dragging himself, his wife, his two teenage children out onto the street in their pajamas. So what did Luna do? Murder? Gang violence? Trafficking? Trending, breaking exclusive, Michigan AG Dana Nessel forced security team to sign non-disclosure statements after she was passed out drunk and had T.O. be removed from Michigan football game in wheelchair nope. All of this was over controversial a tweets. Luna was not in Washington, D.C. on January 6. He has never been arrested or charged with any crime previously. He has no history of violence. He was the recipient of the nation's highest honor for public safety officers, the Medal of Valor. What they're doing to him is an abomination. I want to save this for the podcast and to allow Luna to explain it, but because of California red flag gun laws, they found a crime, show me the man, and I'll show you the crime. It will infuriate you. It is absolutely ridiculous. And they chose to deliberately engage with Luna, circumventing his attorney, on the afternoon of his partner's birthday. According to Luna, who is a certified expert on search warrants, they had to know it was his partner's birthday and that Luna watched his partner burn to death years earlier in a horrific car accident that resulted from a police chase. They have no morals. They know conscience. They have no regard for anyone or anything. There is so much more to this story, including implications that could destroy the January 6th sham committee. You must listen to this podcast, begins at 315 mark if you would like to help Alfredo Luna with his legal fees. You can donate to him at give a send go. com slash defend patriot Luna.